All right, so now the next step is to pin your batik to the fabric. Um, I have pre-cut fabric for you. For this one, I just chose a tan um, to fit behind it. You want to make sure that your fabric for your backing fits the size of your pillow. Um, if it's a little too large, you can always cut it. Um, I have several different colors um, that you can choose from. And if you don't like any of my colors, you can go to Joanne Fabrics and buy your own. You're going to be using these uh, desk pins um, to pin your pillow together. And you need to make sure that your batik is inside out. And so what you see here is going to be my inside of my batik. This side here is actually the outside that people are going to see. Now, when you start to pin, you're going to notice that these pins will run in a straight line. So you're going to be using a ruler and measuring some more. If they're not in a straight line, you're going to end up sewing your pillow and it's going to be crooked. So it might be wider at one end than the other. So I put my first pin in about an inch to a half inch into the, the batik. I then took my, slide it down, my ruler and said, okay, at 17 inches, I'm going to put the other pin. Now you have to do three sides. This side is where I'm going to be putting the stuffing in. So I went to the end and from my last pin here, okay, I went up and I measured 17 inches and I put my other pin. Okay. This way you're going to make sure that your pillow is going to be a perfect square. So now all I have to do is set these pins. Don't poke yourself. You don't need a billion pins. I put a pin about every couple of inches. So here you'll see, I'm going to zoom in real quick, my pin right here. Okay. Um, I'm going to move over just a few inches, make sure that I go through both pieces of fabric, stick it in, and then through, and then back out so that all your points are pointing in the same direction and on the same side. So I'm just going to go all the way across, spacing it out. Also can double check with your ruler that you're on this, the right line. You can see I'm going crooked, so I'm going to take, put this pin up a little higher, and that pin up a little higher. This pin up just a tiny bit higher. Really easy to get that line crooked. So I really want you guys to double check that. So once you get all three sides, push the pin in and then push it through. Video looks a little blurry, I apologize. Push it in and then push it through. All right, make sure that it's square again, and you can do the other side. And then once you get it all pinned, you'll be ready for the next step, which is another video.